Hey guys, sorry about that. Holly again. Um, I thought my son was coming up and I'm kind of like blocking the doorway with all my stuff. Move that out of the way. Okay, so this is a huge, fluffy, eloquy, ivory fleece hooded sweater, size 14, 16. This thing is so cute. Oh my god, it's so soft. You guys. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And look, it like has a elastic at the waist. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. And it's new a tag. There you go. It actually looks like it's a sample. Because it has like info on there. But oh my gosh. It's so soft too. Oh my gosh. I love this. Okay, so that's Eloquy. 1416, super fluffy, happy polar fleece hooded jacket, sweater, whatever you want to call it. All right, next one up is, oh, my God, here, probably. Oh, these pants are gorgeous. White pants, backup dog. You did not near these. Okay, these are Prada, size 44 white look at the little cuff with the button oh my gosh i'm in love with these babies and i think they're linen let me see if i can find that oh, here it is um, let's see what are you made of why is this tape down that's just weird okay so there's like tape on here i think this was authenticated too so let me i'll look at my sheet and see and yes, these are also are going to have an authentication um, certificate with them. And these are 98% cotton, 2% other fibers. So these is gorgeous. I really like these a lot. So they must have had them ridiculously priced in, in the thrift for them to make it to the actually. They got the green tag on them like they were in the store at some point. Oh, and they're 44s. Um, that's European size. Oh, wait. They're folded like this. Oh, I got to do it the way they want them. But these actually have this. So, yeah, I used to be in the, I was in the Army, and we had to, like, have massive creases because I was an MP on a base with, like, more senior officers than enlisted. So we had to like always be sharp. So I hate now creases in the front and back of the pants. I want them flat. I don't have this issue. Sit there and crease, crease iron them. Okay, last one from that. And that one is from New York. Oh, I know. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love this. This is um, Marie. Maurice Sesson is a large, is that not gorgeous? Oh my God, look at that. So it's a sheer, but it's got like this um, ruching lines. So it's like, it's pleated kind of, it's really cool looking. And then I love the little bow, the little tie at the waist. Don't you know? It is actually wrap. No, it's not wrap. It's just, it's a button down and then you have the side wrap um, tie. This is so pretty. Marie Saison, a black, uh, let's see what you are. It's a size large and it is a vintage, obviously, from this tag. And um, it's nylon and Lycra, nylon and lycra, really nice. I like. Oh, let me put it back in this bag. Cause New York's on the ball. All right, so then we got two over here. Oh wait, oh, this bag. Okay, so then we have this bag, which is in a box. So I just took it out of the box downstairs. And this is from 
that's New Jersey. I didn't know I bought stuff from New Jersey. Okay. Oh, and this also has some other stuff. Okay, so, and I also put, like yesterday I got some vinyl. Um, it's like faux Lily Pulitzer, because I'm going to cut out um, names for my Okay, so I'm going to cut out my Plastovia and Hungarian stickers to put on my car and on the doors to the rooms downstairs. It's going to be cute. Cute, cute, cute. Just got to keep working. All right. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, my God. Alexander Wang. Is this not freaking everything? <gasps> God, I love this dress. Uh, look you have like this crazy deep V and then you've got this belt across your chest you got a deep V in the back it's actually deeper in the front than in the back oh my gosh this is a gorgeous peach dress <gasps> this is awesome and this is actually like bolted on <laughs> this has like rivets on it this fabric feels amazing it has some stretch to it, so it's got some good stretch to it. So it's going to be very body con. You have a kick plate in the front, it looks like. Is that the front? Yes. So you have your kick plate in the front. Unless, oh, the straps in the back. Oh, no. You know, I like it better in the front. And I don't see why you couldn't wear it the other way. You just have your kick plate in the front. I actually like this better as the front. But it's apparently the back, the back. And this is, can't read it in here. Um, Alexander Oling. Yeah, that's, I don't even see that. I know it was Alexander Oling, but yeah, it's just really hard to see in there. And it is a size four. I love this. I wish that was the front, though, but it's cool on the back. We got DB in the front deeper V with the belt at the top for the back and that was the size four and I would definitely wear it backwards if I was the size four I'm gonna spin a size four in my, my bottom area not my top area since I was probably like 10. okay these are crazy okay so I've been pulling out all the boxes and getting everything sorted and put into bins in my um, work rooms and like this, my living room. This is all shoes, stuff. Um, and then there's some clothes still in here that need to go downstairs. Um, but I'm like trying to clear out, especially all the cardboard. I don't want cardboard in because I can, um, like silverfish and stuff like that, like paper products so I try and get everything out of the cardboard as soon as possible and get it into the plastic bins but as I was taking stuff to my giant mound of recyclables that are going to get picked up tomorrow this happened to fall out and I did not realize that I had a pair of Dolce and Dolce Gabbana shoes can you see it oh my gosh seriously i cannot even see where is the camera at i don't know okay so nice point of two really cute but they have been through the war they've seen stuff but i'm going to show you guys how to fix this this is going to be super cute they're going to be ready to go you've got some um, dark spots on here probably water stains i'm going to show you how to adjust we're probably going to change this to this darker color so it will match and i think that yeah because it's got a lot of that darker coloring so we're just going to go darker with it and we're going to clean it up we're going to get the um, bottoms fixed and she is going to be like new okay we do we're missing one little thing for the bottom of that too Where's the other one okay um, this one's got both, so I'll just have to find like a little piece of silver to put, so, super cute. 
Yeah, so they almost ended up in the trash by accident. Oops. Bad fall. All right. Those were also from New York. They're in a bag, like New York bags. All right, these are gorgeous. These are Coach Avana pointed toe pumps in size 10B. See, that's the other nice thing about New York State, but like what it is on the back. Okay, these are gorgeous. They are, they got a little toe funkiness up there in the top. If you're one of those creepy guys that likes the dirty shoe, let me know before I clean it. Um, this is size 10 too. So this is a 10B, which is a 10 um, normal. There's a chunk in the back here, but we're gonna figure out how to fix that up. And then on this side, this one also needs a little work on the heel, but gorgeous white with the little gold, kind of goldy beads around the bottom. But yeah, they both got some major toe funk in there. So if you like toe funk, let me know before I, before I wash them, clean them. And the funk. You want, if you want to bring the funk, keep the funk. Why are you sniffing my stuff? It's not for you. It's not foggy stuff. No, it's not. Okay. I just walked across these. Why are these not so cute? Now he thinks I'm talking to him. Because they're so cute. They're so cute, Chewy. So they're like, they are shiny. So they like, they're iridescent. So as the light hits them, they go pinks. What'd you do? My dog just scared himself. Pinks and purple, like a little bit of purple iridescence on it. There's a little scuff over here. We're going to clean that up. So yeah, this just need a little cleanup. And these are a children's um, U.S. size 2B or to 3G. I didn't know there was such a thing as a G. Okay. Probably like a narrow or something. Yeah. Alright, so pretty pretty princess pink iridescent. So I have like been getting some kids shoes because the shoes are cute and they probably and they aren't they give me a problem. So this is Massimo Massimo Duty cream black lace sneaker size 40. Massimo Duty is not multiple, <laughs> which I was confused by when I first started and people were always talking about Massimo Duty and then I saw some Mosimo and I was like oh this must be that really expensive thing. No it's Target. This is not Target however. This is the expensive one. So Massimo Duty wrong side. Isn't that gorgeous? like a nice um it's suede but oh my god is is it fabric i think it's suede fabric and then you've got black leather here and kind of a cream tan leather around here and you've got your nice rubber reflex and it's got a good arch these are nice. Even the shoestrings are solid. Now, I think this is suede. Oh my gosh. That is like the softest suede I've ever felt. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. These are perfect. So, they do actually need a little paint up on the bottom, but they're not bad on the inside or outside. Otherwise, these are awesome. Okay. Then we have Amy Kistenberg. See, and I, I need to add this to my wardrobe. I'm gonna add this to my wardrobe so I can rent it. Like some of this stuff, like the a lot of the higher end newer things and like really nice vintage. Um, I I'm submitting everything to wardrobe right now. They haven't liked any of my because I sent a bunch of um like vintage Brahmin bags and stuff and they weren't digging that. Um, but I think this one they will. This Amy Christenberg. It is a black single zip satchel bag. Okay. This one they actually 
sealed it. A lot of them they don't seal, so then that way you can sell it. Okay, so cool. Check this out. So this is like the tassel bag. The tassel apparently is kind of like the thing. Um, but check out the front. It's got these cool three-dimensional things sticking out. Um, this one actually does need some some work on the inside. We've got looks like like coffee or something. I don't know. So we're gonna have to do a little do a little work on the inside of this one too. See, I shouldn't have said how good they are because now it's like, mm, you want to see how good? And we got a little tear, but that's gonna be easy. I just um, will overstitch it because it's on the seam. So all I have to do is I'll put, uh, there's um, this stuff that you put on to stop it from fraying more. You put that on and then you can just roll it back over and you roll it in like that. Go and behave. It behaves a little bit better if you have the fray stuff on it. And then you'll just use a, um, a French stitch and you like understitch it. Just like um it's like a roll stitch like for um scarves and stuff but we'll just stitch that up clean that up really nice soft black leather i love the the studs on the front all right so that is annie christopher and like i said i'm definitely going to submit this to wardrobe um i think now there's going to be a lot of things that um, if, if they're acceptable at wardrobe, I will send them there rather than sell them right away. Just because on wardrobe, I can probably make more renting, you know, nice stuff than selling it outright. And then I also say that I'm willing to sell it if anybody, you know, like somebody rents it and then they want to keep it. So... Um, and they're really good. They're like, when you put that, yes, you will, um, you'll sell it. Um, they actually, I think they only drop like the retail price that they, they put like their sell range as like 20 to 30% less than the, um, what you put in as the retail. Okay. So this has a crossbody strap here. Oh, where are you? This is head green. It's new a tag green this is the um it has a two-year um payment plan this is the head green midway um higher 309 beach khaki and um it doesn't have a price on it but i know i looked it up and it was really good um the price wait is there a price right there no, it's just got like a weird tag there for no reason. Okay. So this is a huge shuffle. So this will be like my, I have another large men's duffel. Um, that is, I forgot what designer it is. It's bad boy. Oh, Carolyn Herrera. So I have a Carolyn Herrera duffel. Um, bad boy duffel. Um, and then now I have this head green. So hopefully guys will start you know, being able to go out for the weekend. Or girls. And want to have an overnight bag. And they will come and buy one. This is so cool. Okay. Yep, we already did that one. Oh my gosh, I think we are done. Oh wait, we, yeah, we did those. We did that. Okay, so we're done with that Goodwill and the other thing. Okay, uh, yeah, we did this. Oh my gosh, I'm so confusing. I mean, like, but it's good that there's a lot of shaders because I've been working shoes, like I told you guys. Um, I will be getting, um, where's the other food for that? Um, I do take the leather items out of the plastic bags 
as soon as possible. So like when I get done with this, I'll be taking everything out of the plastic bags because leather and faux leather and plastic do not mesh well, especially when you're in the Florida and it's kind of humid. It gets stick together. Okay, so next two. I already did all these, right? Yes, that was my to job. Oh, this is okay. I think this is my yes. Okay, so this is my next. This is a five pack order of um chops, which, like I said, they're the I'll do that. Okay, they're the stamps for upcycling. So I'll, I'll do that later. It's like really hard to open, and some people aren't interested in that part anyway. Y'all are just interested in the other stuff. Alright, who are you? Oh my gosh, there is a bunch of packs of peanuts in here. And it's upside down, so I can't even see where it's from or what it is. But there's a lot of packing peanuts in the bottom. And I can't get the tape. Oh, dang it. Oh, jeez. Oh, these are my colors. These are my guys. The, these are my one pound, I got one pound um, containers of several different colors of fabric dye for doing my batik. So that is part of the batik. As well as this. Okay, I'll do this one after I do the one. Lots of you guys probably are the only reason why y'all can Because I got the new, the new wireless Rolo. Yeah, so... When everybody's like always talking about how great their Rolo is and everything, I'm like, fine, you know. I looked at it, but I just couldn't handle trying to do something that was attached to my computer. Um, I did actually um, try buying, I bought like a couple, um, what do you call it? The, the, What's the other one called? I don't remember. Anyway, but they wouldn't work. It was like a total mad, stupid. But I didn't want to get the Rolo just because I want to be able to have this set up at my shipping station. And like if I'm walking around on my laptop or if I'm on my phone and I get an order in, I can just boom, send it to the Rolo. Um, so I really, really wanted to wait until something was wireless. And now it is. Rolo is now wireless. And I have it in the box right here. No ink, no toner. And it's supposed to be really easy to set up, which is good for me because I'm old and you know I used to be cool. It's weird. You know, like you, you know all this technology and you're like ahead of the curve and you're geek and all that. And then you go a couple years. So we got your how to start it up, download the Rolo app. Um, we got the Rolo talks with co via colors, um, questions or concerns. We got an alcohol pad and this side should face down. I don't know. Maybe that's like, maybe it's got like a little thing to put over the face of it or something. Let's see. Oh, and it's purple too. I really love the purple. Very excited by that. Okay, so it looks like it already has a, a test paper in it. So you probably just turn it on and it, it'll run that first test paper for you. And um, let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, so we pulled this up and it opens. Let's see. Got the little code in there. All right. So this um, can be, it does have a plug so that you can hook it like to your computer if you want to. You don't want to be wireless, um, but I want to be wireless for the most part. I mean, I can plug it. I'll have, I'll probably put the plug in it just so like if I'm going to be at my desk for a long time. I'm going to be setting up a whole shipping station situation. Um, 
So we'll see. Okay, so it actually came with a printer connect cord and the power plug. So if I do want to connect it, I can go ahead and have this there on at my shipping station. And if I just want to throw it on to my laptop, then I can do that. Let me print that way. Or if I'm out and about on my phone, send it from the phone. All right, and then what else is in here? Let's see. All right. I love it. It's purple. What's the other color? Aren't the other ones like blue? The one before this was blue or plain? Oh, this one's this one has a picture of a just plain white one. But I wanted the purple one. I'm excited about that. This should be, you get um, a pack of 500 of your choice of um, four by six labels with your order. And I chose the fan method. So uh, that is my freeze. And then I also purchased, this is, this is like the little tray that I think that there was like $19.99. So this little tray um, can either hold rolls or fan. So you just put this together and that way, you know, like I said, because I want to do, I want to be able to do stuff remotely. Like if I'm laying in bed or whatever, I'm not feeling good, whatever it is. Um, I can still get my stuff done and I already have stuff printed out. So like, even if I need somebody to help me, um, by grabbing stuff and taking it to the post office, they can easily do that because I'll have it, I'll just remotely print it. So we've got that to keep our, our labels sorted. I'm so excited about this. I, I literally today, I was printing labels. There's stuff that I sold this week, and I was like, I can't wait till I get my roller, and I have it, and it's wireless, and I will let you know how it goes when I do this setup, because I'm old, and how many times I have to call customer service, because I know it's going to happen. All right, so now, let's try and do this again, because these are really nice. Hi, my one person that's watching. Who's that? Bryce Rogers. Um, Voom and go. Okay, so you're probably like... I don't know. Weird. Probably someone wanting to see if someone's naked. You know, my ex-husband's name's Bryce. Oh my gosh! Why is this? Why is this so hard to open, too? I have had like the hardest to open packages today. I can't even tell you guys. The, the two white ones I opened before I started, um, I didn't know about these yet at that point, um, because they were like freaking Fort Knox loaded. And I, I mean, I thought I was a little bit overboard with my uh, situation, but no. You guys have me beat by a mile and a half. Bubble wrap, yay! We love bubble. Okay. No, it's not what. <laughs> it's, it's not food. My dog is like tripping out. He thinks it's food. It's not for you. No, it's not for you. No, no, it's not for you. What? What? Yeah, so I'm using my teeth, guys. Because I'm that person. Ah, there we go. Okay. Again. Seriously. This is like a workout. I'm not going to have to do my beach body today. Oh my gosh. It is like so cheap. It's so cheap, so. This is like, 
chest, chest workout. Okay, the bad thing about these, I now see, they don't have handles. So like this person was using the, the chops as um, art, which a lot of people do. Um, because they are basically art. Um, they're art made of copper that then puts really hot wax on stuff. So you kind of need a handle because it's going to get hot. So these are missing handles, so I'll have to figure out how to attach a handle. But, oh my gosh, this one's really pretty. You can see this one has a lot of detail. It's kind of floral. And you see how it bumps up on the edge? That's because that's like how you connect it to the, your next thing. So you chop and then you bind up and chop again. So that way this this creates like a a large pattern. So okay, so we've got that one. And that's really bad news without I'm gonna I I'm thinking of getting I'm not thinking. I'm gonna get a you know the gloves that you can use for your pans and stuff. They're like normal, normal size gloves. But um they're like fire retardant and stuff. Probably gonna just get some of those and then that way for these ones that don't have handles. Because even the ones with handles, the handles get hot if you're leaving it sitting in the hot wax for too long. And I put my um, put my skillet together last night. I got a 15 inch skillet for putting my wax in. God, I, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, this is like a, a comedy hour just watching me try to open this. <laughs> I'm sorry. My son just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> and the dog just happy to be coming in. No, we're closing. Thank you for food. This looks like a piece to pull it off. Where are we missing a piece from? Look how beautiful. So, there's like a couple little pieces in here that I need to fix. I need just basically you fix it with um but that's getting done. Um you can fix them with tweezers, like long tweezers, you reach in there and adjust the pieces. Are you okay? Do you get to go to sleep now for a couple days? You gotta go back to work tomorrow. Poor dog. Poor son. Did you work like you worked like 16 hours yesterday or something? Ish. And then he um and then you have to go to the doctor 160 miles away this morning. But he was the most awesome son ever and brought, brought home food from the mainland. Like, we can't get Sunny's barbecue or Panda Express, stuff like that. So he got his Panda Express and Sunny's barbecue. It's pretty sad, huh? We, it was like geek out trying to figure out which restaurant are we going to go to on the mainland that we don't have here. Sit down, I usually like try to do either like a local thing or okay. And it's mainly a knife. I should have gotten up and gotten a knife. Well, I guess. Inside of this video of me opening stuff in my mouth. Look at that flower. Day two. There's that light. Nice. So this is like a really pretty flower. So this is a large one. So this could be one of the ones that I'll put on the back of jean jackets. So for jean jackets, I have large um, 
graphics like that. And I'm like all good for t-shirts and stuff. You can use a big graphic like that. Oh my gosh. Maybe we have a knife. Should have thought about that, but I wasn't sure that these were coming yet. I did not know that. Okay. And then I got to accept everything after we get this done. Oh my gosh, this is so much faster than me trying to open stuff with my face. Isn't that gorgeous? And you just, you take it along. So like you could dye something one color, but you want these flowers and stuff to be. Wax it down. Um, so like I would actually probably go with removing the wax. Like you could actually cover up some areas so that they didn't wax. So like if you wanted to have um, yellow flowers and then a dark greens for the the viney things you could cover the viney things and only keep the flowers out stamp paint those then you can put wax on the flower on on your uh words I have to figure out what I'm trying to say, but yeah, so this one's heavy too, but that's like, you know, for jeans or a dress, something like that, that you want to have like a really big, cool pattern on. And one more. And again, it is filled to within an inch of my life. I'm going to have so much fun. Everything is situated and I can start actually upcycling stuff. It is going to be awesome. You guys are going to love all the stuff that's coming. Um, I've been pulling with all my cotton, linen, and silk um, for upcycling things that will look better. Okay, check this out. It's a pheasant. Now see the pheasant. It's kind of hard with the light behind it. There we go. Maybe. Let's see. Let's close. Uh, I can't. I just can't figure out where the camera is. Maybe it's on the bottom. I don't know. So it's a really nice big pheasant or a peacock maybe. No, I think it's a pheasant. So that one's cool. That's another like solo one that you can do with a big single graphic for and it makes it fancy looking you know so instead of just doing a basic tie-dye upcycle um using the batik um techniques that i'm learning from um i don't remember how to say her name look on my link tree and i have um link to my instructor she does everything online as well as in person um, I'm going to be doing some in-person, an in-person class soon. I need to go up and get help with the pad, the inking pad, for using these guys. This is heavy too. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And it's copper, so it's probably like worth more melted down than it is like this, but I love it. Okay, and you know, the cool thing is after it's used again by me for upcycling um you know and i want to try out new things i actually have some being made custom um but then i can sell them as artwork and they sell for um it depends on like where you're at like first dibs one guy had like two of them for six hundred dollars i'm like yeah no <laughs> you know but then i've been able to find other places where they're really less expensive um, cause it's like an actual shop that this is their shop they're requiring. Um, so that's good, but yay, wireless roll and my stuff for upcycling. And now I'm going to go eat some food that my wonderful son brought me. Bye guys.